Okay, pilots. I'm gonna work on my cockpit just a little bit here and get it finished up, maybe. Let's hope so. So we'll look down a little bit more. I've got one of the crew in, one of the pilots in. And what I've done here is made the seat. You make your seat. I put a little radio back there behind it. That's what the antenna is there. It's just a radio backpack. Come with a G.I. Joe man. G.I. Joe with a Kung Fu grip. And then I took an action figure from Lord of the Rings. I can't remember the character's name. But he wears his long leather cape and he's got a sword and he's got a torch in his hand, but I took his head off. And I ordered two of Flatline's B-25, I believe they in the B-25 now, and they in the Liberator, but they, they pilots that come with it, but they only half. So I cut if you can see real close there, you can see where I've cut his head off. See his tie? Well, that's where I've cut his head off. And I've super glued it and put the character's vest over top of it and super glued it to it and got all this pretty good. But I don't glue it to the seat until I get him in there. I got this guy, this guy in without doing that so that I could maneuver him around and move him, around, move him around before, you know, get it set. And plus I'm wanting the arms to reach out there, wanting to be on the st stick. Let's see, he's got to get a little closer. Got to keep maneuvering him in. He's getting close. Give him a little push, pull this leg a little bit, pull that leg a little bit. But you gotta remember that ain't nothing old thin plastic that they made them 3D print, printed parts with. So I'm getting his hand over it, getting his hand over it. Come on, ice cream. And there it went. You heard the pop. Went right through his hand there. I hope you seen that. Maybe not. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here with this hand. And I'm going to try to get him on the throttle. I'm going to bring him around a little bit. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I got, I got to spread his grip. I gotta spread his grip. Spread his grip. Ooh, gotta get a hold of that thumb and kind of pull it back. I gotta get a hold of them fingers and pull them back a little bit and quickly get it up here. Turn it to the right angle because this, th this stuff is easily broken. So you just kind of try to get that correct angle, give that throttle stick a little support and get his hand slid right up on it just like that. Let me thank my Lord for that one. All right, I'm easing him down, pulling this leg a little bit, pulling that leg a little bit. I'm getting my seat tugged up very good against him. All right. Uh-oh, I ain't got that glued in yet. I was gonna show you all my little extras. And I'm gonna take my super glue. And I'm gonna kind of let some run down in there. It holds that super glue pretty good to that seat. I don't know what kind of material that, that action figure's vest and, and, and leather capes are made out of, but 
That super glue grabs a hold of it pretty good. So let's put a drop on his hand. Put a drop on this hand. And over here, just a little bit, that's all it takes. That stuff's pretty, pretty good. A little bit more run down through there. Now the legs of the chair. I only could get to three of them while it was in position. But that's okay. I've been kind of tugging on this oven here. I had it, I've had it done for about 30 minutes and, and it ain't moving. Now I've got the rest of the cockpit is kind of glued in with super glue and epoxy. Okay. Now, as you can see, our heads are sticking up a little bit here. Our dash. Oh, let me, let me get it up here and show you these little things here. I got some of them glued, some of them ain't. But little, little cartons and, and there's an oxygen tank on that side with the regulator glued in. I got his parachute box right there for his parachute. Pilot puts his parachute. Got these crates glued in over here. The co pilot's parachute box will be right here. They just, I don't know, just something I thought of. I don't know if they've done it or not. But they kept our parachutes pretty close to them. Fire extinguisher in the back. That's pretty cool, ain't it? But the dash and everything's pretty cool. I kind of done a little detail work on it. Just let white paint drip down into that circle they had made for the gauges. The little pins. Let me get it up here where you can see them. The little pins that you buy at the store, little craft store, where it's got the big old B to color BB or something, you know on the end of it. You can see the red ones down there. Got the little needle hot with a lighter, stuck it down in it. But all the rest of stuff was us, that 3D printed kit. Besides them little extra little things I put in. Let's see, let's turn it around this way. Oh, I was gonna show you. I had to cut a slit in it right there for it to fit over the air tank for the landing gear bracket. And one, one of the little parts of the, the action figure was part of his, uh, was a part of his vest or, or outfit, I, I guess you could say. But I cut it and Turned it and super glued it into a circle, right? All right, so let's take this piece of tape off. Oh, I can take a little. I'm gonna alcohol my change that wipe that off, but I can put that on the bottom. Maybe put a little dab and do a brown on or something. But it's it's kind of soft, you know, soft rubber. See here? You just bend it. But that that super glue might not hold it, might hold it, I don't know. But just kinda I'm I might take the razor blade and cut it. And you know, make it kind of look like it's the glove around the end of the barrel. You know, fit it up there pretty good. Glue it on. Got two of them. Now that's about all I can do right now is is, is get little things like that done. This done, little, little detail work. I got a bag full of other things they made in their in their little kit there. Now this is the, the bombardier seat. And I'm just going, I, 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 you know, I got no clue. 
It's not even in the pictures that Thomas sent me. So I'm gonna put this back up against something in the bomb, bombardier nose there. He sits on that seat. Now I got an ammo box. Well, let me get it out. Got a couple ammo boxes. Got his parachute box. Now I'm not gonna put that oxygen tank up there. That goes in the in between the uh, waste gunners. That's their oxygen. That's their radios. Okay. Yeah, that's the that's in case I got to be sitting on something. I got that box there. But there's an ammo box. There's his parachute box, bag, basket, whatever you want to call it. All right, and then we got the good one there. That's the Norton bomb side. Oh yeah, look at that. I might take some silver and kind of outline some things. This is another tank. Now you want, they wanted you to put all three of them in the cockpit, but I said, no, I'm going to put two in the cockpit for all the guys that's in the front. Now we got a radio pilot, co-pilot and bombardier. So I'm going to put this one down there at the waste gunner. And I've glued a little small one that they send you that they had in the picture he had in the cockpit. I've put it in here with the tail gunner see it better when you look through that window it's just a little small version but all of them had their little tanks with them all of them had a little radio with them got his radio see if you can see it in there see the radio glued to the back of the seat with the antenna sticking out let me try to see if we can get it this side there it is glued to the back of the seat that's his radio or his oxygen mask for his oxygen tank huh 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 how you like me now now my guns is gonna have gloves. Okay. I feel clumped. Oh. All right, here we go. We're gonna make one more glue here. This lid comes off of this crate, but I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's, it's glued down. Come on, ice cream, and we'll run out of glue. Might have made something in there. Think super glue, you know. Yeah. I misglued two speakers for my sound system inside my mosquito. I glued them right next to where you stick the bolts in to bolt the wings in on, bolt the wings up to it. So I pulled them things back off. And good Lord, I about ripped the whole side of the wall off that thing. Luckily, it didn't destroy the speaker. Wait a minute, I ain't going to do that. I'm going to put it back behind the seat just like I got the other guy. Right behind the seat. That's the ticket, lad. And I'm going to put a dab on the seat frame just for support. If I can get something to come out. That, that tube there is about gone. Okay. That's it for you. You're fired. I usually keep them little plastic coverings to, to mix my epoxy in, but I've got 10 of them probably already. So I, I believe my supply is good. Got a couple drips there. Yeah, that helps. That's good. I'm gonna put a drip on that wall. When you glue stuff up against, you know, a 90 degree wall or something like that, you know, you, you give it a little more support. Okay. Let's go in here and see what this looks like.
the round bracket for the air tank. Okay. In the pictures, this is sitting flush on both sides here. Okay, note my pilot's head sticking up there. Note them right up against the front of the latches for the front nose or front canopy. Now in his pictures, he's got an area cut out in the front here, like a little square a little square block comes out and goes back in right here. He's got it cut out for some reason. I don't know. I don't want to get into contact with him that but if I have to do it, I have to do it. Okay. Let's see if it fits. It was just hitting that one bracket there. Yeah. It's okay. Might be a little low, but that's all right. We can live with that. I know it's probably hard to see them in there with the reflection. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, pilots, I've played enough. I'm out.